Good day and welcome to our training video. Today we're coming from Holly Oaks Farm in Hamilton, Ontario. We are representing the Equine Guelph, University of Guelph program, and Daryl McLean driver training, and most importantly, representing the Hamilton Police Mounted Unit here in Hamilton, Ontario. Today we're gonna to be speaking about the safe operation, the legal operations of pulling a truck and a trailer, and the different regulations that apply. Our first topic we wanna to talk about is a regulation that was brought into Ontario about 12, 15 years ago. And that is called an AR or A restricted license. Now, a lot of people, when they think of a class A license, they think of tractor trailers and, and big rigs going down the highway. But in actuality, it actually applies to horse trailers, utility trailers, and as such. So I'd like to spend some time in trying to muddle through some of these regulations. Down below, you will find a link that will take you to a website, a free website put up by the province of Ontario, which will kind of reinforce to what we're talking about. The first thing I wanna talk about is what defines what a class A license mean. And it simply means that the trailer in itself weighs more than 10,000 pounds. So whatever you have on your trailer, horses, utility stuff, whatever, um, when it's all loaded, when that trailer weighs by itself, not the truck, but just the trailer wheels themselves onto a scale, and we'll show later on how to do that. When the trailer weighs in excess of 4,600 ki kilos, it is considered to be an A license. Tractor trailers that have air brakes are an AZ license. What we're gonna be speaking of is the new change, which is an AR, which stands for A restricted, which means the trailer cannot have air brakes. Most horse trailers and utility trailers utilize electric brakes. If the trailer in itself weighs more than 4,600 kilos or 10,000 pounds, the license is required. And it is a special process to which you have to go through the Ministry of Transport via DriveWise in your local area. We should probably start from the beginning in defining what some of the, what some of the terms that are used in the law. One is called a gross weight or GW. And what that means, it means the weight of the truck and trailer or separately as they are going to be loaded when you're ready to go down the road. For example, if you have horses, the tack, the water, the feed, the lunch buckets, whatever you're going to put into your truck and trailer, that should be the way that you go and go to your local scale to get it measured out. It is not much good for you to scale out something and then add more equipment there afterwards to find out that you're in excess of 4,600 kilos. So gross weight is the weight of the truck and the trailer as you would be having it going down the road as you would need it. The next one to speak about is a thing called GVWR, Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. And that is something that talks about how much that particular unit, for example, the GVWR on a truck is found on the driver pillar inside of the driver's door. And that will tell you how much the manufacturer says that that truck can, can carry. There is also a GVWR on top of the trailer in itself and that will tell you how much the trailer can carry. The truck will also have a, a maximum pulling weight, and that will say how much the truck and the trailer will be actually able to pull down the road. So if your trailer weighs 4,500 kilos and your truck weighs 4,000 kilos, then your truck will have to be able to pull 8,500 kilos or more, and that is also on the driver pillar of the truck. So there's a lot of information here that we're gonna be passing on to you. Again, these definitions are all within the definitions portion of the E-Laws website to which we'll have a link below. The ramifications of not having a proper license. For example, if you say, well, my truck and trailer, I likely will never ever weigh more than 10,000 pounds. I'm not gonna bother weighing it. And if you happen to be stopped by an enforcement persons and they weigh your trailer to find that it weighs in excess of 4,600 kilos, not only are you subject to a violation fine, but in the event that you get involved in a collision and that trailer weighs more than 4,600 kilos and you do not have an AAR or AZ license, your insurance company will not be covering the damages that you've incurred, including the damages to other people that you may have been involved with, 
that's a pretty serious, serious implication. So not having the proper license to being able to pull a truck and trailer is a very serious one. And that's why we're spending some time at the beginning of this video to cover this information. Absolutely critical that you understand how much your trailer weighs as it would be going down the road. So I hope you've had an opportunity to pause this video and take a look at the, the E-Dash laws, which we have a link to for you to kind of plow through it. And when you go into that program, um, that website, once you open it up, you'll see statutes and regulations and you wanna to go to H for Highway Traffic Act. This is for Ontario, of course. And then you're gonna scroll down and look for regulations. I will also have the link and the number of the regulation that applies to this. It makes for some pretty complicated and interesting reading. Um, so mentioned in that website in the regulations speaks of some exemptions. So for those who are RVers, they may be quite concerned uh, to see how that applies to pulling their trailers. One of the things that it mentions is that there is an exemption from the AR license if the trailer weighs more than 4,600 kgs or 10,000 pounds. However, it meets a number of different requirements to be able to get that exemption and using your class G license. One of them being it must be a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. The trailer must be used strictly as a non-compensated trip. In other words, compensation may mean a handshake, money, offering a slice of pizza, a thank you. Any of those sorts of things are considered compensation. It must be strictly your own trailer, your own personal things going on a camping adventure. It also mentions that at least 50% of the occupancy of that trailer must be for camping. The other portion of that 50% can be used as horses or other non-commercial cargo. There's a number of other instances that are mentioned in that e-laws that we're not gonna be covering here today, but it is important to understand that if you are not sure that you're gonna be able to meet all of those requirements listed on that in section subsection two, that you get your AR license. Next, we're gonna be relocating and showing you a simulation as if we are at a local scale. For example, if we're at a gravel pit that has a scale or a local grain farm that transports their product to market and has a scale and you get permission first, we're gonna show you what it would look like in the process of how to set up and enter onto the scale to get the information that you need. We're here going to be showing you on how to scale a trailer so that you can know if you're in excess of 4,600 kilos to make sure you're compliant to the AR license. We're simulating that we have a truck scale here. We're simulating we're at ABC Grain Mills where we've gotten permission to utilize their grain scale. And before we enter it, we want to make sure that the scale is zeroed. Usually you'll find a light that indicates to move forward and stop. So we have a red light while it, the scale operator is resetting the, the scale to zero and then he gives us a green light. So Officer Leonard, would you please move up to the next one and I'll tell you when to stop. Just until the truck tires go past the first pylon, please, officer. Keep going. And stop. Okay, you can shut it off. We shut it off just for ease of communicating. But at this point, the scale operator would be taking our first reading. And what that first reading is showing us is that we have just the truck onto the first scale plate. Oftentimes there is at least two, perhaps three different scale plates. If there is only one scale plate, this is the process to which you would be doing it. So the first scale plate is between the first cone and the second cone. So we wanna have just the truck wheels onto that and that'll give us the weight of the truck in itself. Okay, you'll get a green light when the officer or when the operator inside has got that weight. Can you move up to the next scale, please, officer? Good. Can you turn it off? Great. At this point, we're now having the weight of the truck and the trailer on the whole entire 
scale. And this will give us the entire weight, the entire weight of the truck and the trailer. And this would be under our registered gross weight, which is the total weight to which we have purchased permission to carry weight onto the road. And that is the weight of the truck and the trailer. We'll show you later on your, on your um, ownership as to where that will be found. So we would get a green light indicating that the scale operator has, has retained that weight. And lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate that we would move again forward, but we're running out of room in this particular location. We haven't got enough room to pull it so that the trailer is on it. So we're going to assume that the scale plate is right here. It ends right at this, this scale right here, at this pylon right here. And it would give us just the weight of the trailer in itself. That is the critical one when we're looking for our AR license. So there's a number of different things that we're looking for here. So the last scale would be recorded and then we can clear the scale and go over and find out our results. The results is very critical for us. If we find that the last scale that we have, or just the trailer, is in excess of 4,600 kilos, or 10,141 pounds, then we know that we're going to require an AR or an AZ license. An AR license is much more easier to ascertain with your truck and trailer, with this particular outfit, to challenge the AR license whereas an AZ license requires a transport truck or a tractor trailer. So let's focus on the fact that you would require an AR license, as you would more than likely be looking for that. So if we find that our trailer is, for example, 4,700 kilos, 4,700 kilos is in excess of the 4,600 kilos, which means that that truck has to be operated by an AR licensed or AZ licensed driver. As mentioned, Failure to have the appropriate license would not only result in a violation and a fine, usually around three to four hundred dollars, but more importantly, if it's involved in a collision and the investigators may weigh the scale of the trailer and find out post-collision that you're in excess of 4,600 kilos and you would be out of class. Again, that information would be forwarded to your insurance company and you would not be insured for your truck, trailer and contents which is a rather financial, serious situation. We have a copy of the ownership to this particular vehicle. We can see the owner side and the plate side. On the plate side, right about here, is a thing called RGW, Registered Gross Weight. And that is what we actually pay for to create damage to the road based on how much weight we're going to be pulling with our truck and trailer. This is only found on the tow vehicle or the truck portion of it. The registered gross weight will not be on the trailer portion of it is because it is covered by the truck portion. So right here we can see that this truck has been registered for 6,350 kilos. What we need to ensure is that our second weight where we had both the truck and the trailer on tour scale, that we are less than that registered gross weight. If we are greater than registered gross weight, we must adjust by going to Service Ontario and bumping it up to what we need. Failure to have the truck and trailer weigh more than a registered gross weight can result in an overweight ticket if caught by an enforcement. So in this particular case, we're going to assume that the truck and trailer weighed 6,210 kilos. So in this case, we'd be less than the 6,350 kilos. So in this case, we would be perfectly legal as far as the registered gross weight portion is concerned. Our AR portion of it is strictly a separate topic, and that was our third scale, which is just the trailer in itself. Somewhat confusing, so if you need to, please pause this video and review again through the Highway Traffic Act. I'm probably starting to get a little bit deep into this and may start to confuse some people. But we're trying our best to try and explain this process. And oftentimes most people aren't aware that this is a responsibility of the truck owner. 